welcome back dear friends inside this class we are going to discuss about variables in details so as i told you we have just three kinds of data type a string integer and variable data types but inside this class i'm going to tell you just about the variable in details we are going to create integer variable we are going to create a string variable then we are going to just call that variable here so the way of creating variable uh, as I told you that JavaScript is a case sensitive language you must take care of some things so here I have just uh, something uh, seven points that you can take care of these things inside JavaScript when you are creating variables JavaScript variable must be identified with unique names okay this is the first rule that these unique names are called identifiers name names can contain letter digits underscore hyphen and dollar sign so i don't know the hyphen uh, spelling is correct or not so names can contain letter digits underscore hyphen and dollar sign names must begin with letters not with numbers so this is the uh, rule number four rule number five is names are case sensitive small y and capital y are different variables so there is different between small y and capital y in javascript that is why it is called case sensitive language in javascript the equal sign is an assignment operator not an equal to operator reserve words like javascript keyword cannot be used as a names so you cannot use javascript keywords as a variable inside javascript so we are just going to uh, create a variable here for example i'm just going to create a variable by giving the name well and you can use uh, for example you can just say well one is equal to you can just this equal to does not mean uh, just equal to operator it means assignment of operator inside javascript well one you are just assigning value for example 25 and you can just write here well 2 is equal to again i'm just giving 25 so here we have just two variable the first variable name is well 1 the second variable name is well 2 we can just call them here instead of these numbers so you can just call this number here 25 plus 25 this is the first way you can save this go to your browser and refresh so you can see we got the result here 50 and instead of these two uh just 25 plus 25 we can just call well one then use plus and well two you can save this now come here and refresh so again we got 50 here because the result is 50. so here i can change this for example this one to 30. you can save this and refresh now this time we have 55 because 25 and 30 and you know the result so one more thing if you are using integer value and this plus sign will work just it will plus the number but if you are using a string value so this will concatenate the number this will not plus the uh, the string value cannot be plus you can see uh, the string value can be concatenate so here like this you can just create variables and you can call the name of your variables here for example I'm just creating uh, creating one more variable by giving the name answer is equal to well1 plus well2 so now I can just call the answer here because I have saved these two variable inside this one and now I can call this here so I can change this for example 30 plus 30 we are making some changes here refresh so now we have the result 60 you can see and uh, the same way uh, you can just create a string variable and you know the rule that we can write a string inside the quotation i'm just writing here my name abdul wahid so well one plus well two we have just called the answer here the same rule and refresh so you can see we have abdul wahid here if you want to create some space here so what you are thinking we should use space here will it work or not refresh so you can see it has worked but we have another way also i'm just going to remove this we can save and refresh so we can use just be between these two variables for example well one well two i can just use one more plus sign here then 
quotation that can be single or double quotation so we can just use a space here save and refresh so you can see we have a space between these two word and as i told that plus sign here inside the string value plus sign will not work just uh, just as a plus operator it will work just as a concatenating it will concatenate to variable because this is string value inside this and here if you want to break this so you can just use here a break break you can just like this you can just break this yes friends so inside this class we have learned about how we can just create a variable how we can just assign integer value how we can assign uh, a string value and one more thing uh, that is just uh, I think it's necessary to tell you when you are using a variable with two words for example well just underscore one and like this well underscore two so you can see we have just used well and one well and two so between these two words you can just use here this one is not word just uh, instead of this you can use word also so we can say between these two words you can use underscore like this and you can just call here well underscore one and well underscore two no matter these two variable is saved inside this ans ns means answer and here so it will give the same result a refresh so there is no changes so i hope you are understand when you are creating variable so you must take care of these seven rules so i have just told you here and thank you for watching this video See you in the next class.